So today we're going to be showing you a number of different methods of making your own PCBs at home. Here we can see one of our better ones which came out first time and is workable using copper clad boards and a variety of methods. So whether you want to make a one-off illuminated Christmas card or maybe even a talking toaster, you can create your one-off circuit boards. Of course you can buy these from a variety of suppliers but the lead time can be quite long and the cost is generally very reasonable if you just want one-off boards. So the first method we're going to use is laser ablation. So we've painted our copper clad board as shown here. And then we've used the laser to etch the pattern into it as you could see in the previous image where this has burned the paint away mostly. Um, so this is very accurate and quite quick. But we've also had to surround our printer with a box to ensure the blinding light from the laser doesn't affect us doing other things in the office. Of course, we've also had to fit some extraction to this to ensure that the fumes from the paint aren't just floating around for us to breathe in. So we have our board after we've given it a good scrub after the laser ablation and we can see where the copper's been revealed. So we can now etch this. It's kind of the opposite of using a laser printer and transferring the toner. So we'll etch that in some ferric chloride and this will then eat through the copper that's been exposed. Then if we finally use some acetone to remove the remaining paint after the etching, we'll end up with our clear board. This was our fourth attempt to get a working board. So if we just look at the risks involved, we have the blinding UV light from the laser, which is quite a risk generally. We have burns from the acid from the ferric chloride, which is obviously very corrosive to your skin as well as various parts in your house. And we also have the fumes from painting the board itself at the start. And then the ablation from the laser where it's actually burning the paint using UV light, which of course again is dangerous to inhale. And we have the fiberglass, which at the moment Obviously, you've just got to cut your board. So as you can see, the laser is quite dangerous as an approach. And the results can be very mixed. As you can see here, there's various bits of copper in the tracks that have not been eaten away if we hold it up to a light. And it can be quite bad. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. And do please check out our other videos on our channel for everything related to Arduino. So the next method we tried was to add a scribe instead of our UV laser. And of course, configuring the layer height on this was quite difficult. And all we're expecting the scribe to do here is cut through the paint to reveal the copper to go back through the acid etching process. The downside is if the scribe got caught in the copper or we went too low at any point, it started etching slightly off where it was before. And you can see here, although the results are very fine, there are some issues. So we weren't actually able to complete these boards due to the problems. So this was very good, but sadly not workable. So if we go and look at the risks involved in this, we still have the acid to etch the board and we still have the paint. Luckily, we've reduced the risk as we have no ablation and no laser involved. The next method we tried was to use a CNC milling bit and this is attached to a small engraving device instead of the scribe in our 3D printer. This is now cutting straight through the copper into the fiberglass. So this doesn't actually need a painted board as shown here. We were just trying this on one of our spares. Of course, the results are immediate. There is no acid or painting and as you can see, they're just as accurate for most footprints for what you need. And as you can see, we have an ESP32 fitted to this board and everything lines up and everything's to scale. So if we go and look at our risks again, we can now just see we've got the cutting of the fiberglass, which of course you're gonna have in all of these processes generally is you've got to cut your board out. So, here we have our finished board and we highly recommend the CNC approach, although getting your bed level and getting the layer heights correct can be frustrating.